Yeah. I'm glad you're out there because uh, that's all right. It's gonna get wet. Oh, that's scary. It's not just mud. That's a that was a fast lap. What's up, everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, we should be taking our Tillotson 225 six-speed swapped uh, go-kart for its first ride. This is a bored-out stroker, big valve, uh, 225 cc engine that makes about 25 horsepower. Uh, chain linked with a Yamaha Blaster transmission from a blown-up Yamaha Blaster engine. So we had a mishap last time. Jeez, at least. Uh, the fly... The flywheel flew off. I guess the, uh, the the nut got loose when we were spinning the transmission over, and it sheared the key and popped off about, jumped the chain everywhere. So now that that's fixed, we're gonna re-weld the sprocket on there and uh, keep moving forward. I think I think my next job is maybe shifter or something. So we revised our gearing since the last episode. We put a smaller sprocket on the axle for more top speed, and we made our hub skinnier so that we don't have as much uh, like weight hanging off the end of that flywheel and crankshaft. And we're also going to make this thing semi-manualmatic, right? Semi-automatic, but also still manual. Yes. We're going to show you that a little later. Yes. So guys, if you're welding anywhere around a fuel tank, make sure the fuel tank is thoroughly, thoroughly flushed out. Uh, I recommend not doing it, period, because no matter how many times you flush it out, it can still have fumes in it, and the fumes are what ignite, causing a explosion. So we had a fire extinguisher on standby, and, uh, and I'm a volunteer fireman, so it'll be fine. So guys. Don't do what we do. So now that the fuel tank tabs are welded in, thank you, Charles. It looks great. He installed the fuel tank and even plumbed it up for us. Now we're gonna be moving on to the shifter. So I've got an idea on the shifter. Uh, we've got some uh, old Model T uh, car parts here. And we have some, uh, some pipes right here. What I'm thinking, is a hard linkage going from from this area to the back shifter and this rod coming up we're going to have another like shifting rod right here so we can keep our hands close to the steering wheel if not on the steering wheel at all times and uh be able to shift while driving this is going to be fantastic we're getting close to a drive guys i'm looking forward to this uh Unfortunately, I'm not going to be the first one to drive it this time because I like to tear stuff up. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, Charles and John can do uh, old rock, paper, scissors and figure out who's going to do the first ride. Sounds good. Yeah. We've got this old Model T uh, rock. What was this? This was a... I think it was brake. Or it was that, or the accelerator. It was that, yeah. It the might have been... Transmission. You yeah. stepped on the, ga uh, the pedal and... That's it what the put tension on the belt or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm thinking, <coughs> excuse me, I've already put a couple of bins in it, but I've got this right here. This will go into the foot shifter right here on the transmission, and it'll allow me to pull and push right here. Okay, yep, I get okay. it. Then we're gonna have a couple of tabs, sleeves, a couple of sleeves that we're gonna weld in on the frame. And this bar is gonna slide right down into those sleeves. We're gonna have some of these Go Power Sports. Uh, this is the steering tabs yep. for their uh, spindles. They weld onto the spindles. Your steering linkage goes to it. Well. We also found another use for them. This is gonna work great for a shifter. This is gonna be welded to this rod. Our shift linkage is gonna be mounted to it right there. 
where when we twist the rod, it'll go forward and backwards, and this linkage will go forwards and backwards. Then we're going to have a, a shift lever coming off here, and we'll be able to grab it and shift it right here. It's going to turn out pretty good, I think. So the shifter's done. I gotta say, it looks great. Thanks. Thanks. Good job, man. Uh, these tires, super cleaty up front from Go Power Sports. They're gonna help us steer just fine. I'm ready to rip. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, I think it's gonna be fun, especially if these turf tires on the rear. Oh, There's gonna yeah. be a lot of spinning and, and playing around. But, you know, we're gonna take it easy at first for many reasons. One, we don't want to uh, tear anything up right away. And two, it's kind of muddy out there. So, Charles, I am sure. Yeah. I'm glad you're out there because uh, that's all right. It's gonna get wet. It works. You know what we didn't consider? Stiff chassis. Stiff chassis. Oh, so yeah, foot is too much. That thing is really fast. Yeah, we gotta fix that. Yeah, and uh, well, that we lost the bolt for the crankshaft. <laughs> but that's okay. It's not. It's not gonna go anywhere. The chain will keep it on. That's why it's making so much Oh man, look that at my, is, look at the oil on my back. It's bad. It's not just mud. That's oil. How fast do you think this thing Dude. is? Dude, it was moving. I think you got all four up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I, yeah, it well, you know, fast. I pulled I pulled a page out of Ike's, you know, playbook. And I'm gonna like, take it easy. I'm gonna take it easy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's like, take it easy, and then the one, two shift. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, that was killer. Oh, boy. No, that was awesome. Oh, that was I mean, awesome. we got some bugs to work out, you know, some noises or whatever, but, 
do I mean just one every now and then it got a chain chunk when I would turn but I mean it's a lock diff so I think that's I think it was just a did like you, any like anything without a clutch did you get in the six I don't I don't know I don't think you got very high in the RPM range no either. no yeah it didn't it didn't want it didn't want, I mean we're gonna have to do something about this catch can because we got to we gotta get the oil back into the motor instead of it just spitting out like that. Yeah, yeah. that was that was me. I I just put this air filter real quick. We'll we'll, we'll take care of that problem. Uh, we we like that. I, I want to save this engine. Well, how about we fix it and then uh, give it another go? Oh, I know. What Sounds I, good to me. I know what happened. What? Our either our axle. Yep, our axle shifted over. Oh dear. Oh, it did shift. Luckily, over. the brake caliper is a floater. Because look. It floated itself right on over oh to the right. Oh boy. That's, there's not supposed to be a gap there. Nope. So I'm lucky. So the first test drive went great. We went ahead and changed the crankcase vent uh, so that it actually vents from the valve cover up here rather than in the middle of these two lines. So we shouldn't get oil going everywhere. It's not quite ready for a full send. We want to put a clutch pedal in it. But to round off this first drive episode, I'm going to take it for a warm lap around the Grand Prix and see what I think of it. <laughs> I gotta say that thing moves out pretty good. Uh, it works great with that centrifugal clutch. You can just bang through the gears with no problems. Uh, I really like the semi-automatic, but you know, we've got to hook up that clutch so we can have a manual clutch. I think that would be awesome. Probably just let the engine slow them down, which is a thing we can do now. We can use the, tra use oh, the yeah. transmission to Until kind of- Until the clutch- uh, Yeah. The weights, uh, yeah, until yeah. The, yeah, disengage. Oh. He is so, he is so wet, so yeah. much wheel spin. Yeah, that is, that is a really, really very powerful setup. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. You were uh you were cooking it, dude, and and wet too. It was really just just second, third, a little bit of fourth. Yeah. Nice. It hydroplaned like a bunch of times. Oh. You know what? I think uh I'm not gonna do it again. No. <laughs> you gotta do it again. We didn't get the time. <laughs> um the third one if you need it. I'm good. You are soaked all the way around, my dude. Oh man. You know oh. what, uh I think I'm gonna let you have this one. Oh, so nice. Well, no, no, someone's got it. it, it. <sighs> I don't wanna go. You guys gonna write the time down so I can go change? Yes, cool. Yeah. So uh, I am very impressed with the uh, quickness of that cart, especially since he was taking his time on the slowdowns and, and all that stuff. That was a fast lap. That was pretty impressive. Are you ready for your time, sir? I'm ready. Do you know exactly where you're going to be on the... Somewhere down here, because it was wet, a lot of hydroplaning, we got to work on the brakes. Very wet lap. So Very did wet. we write down wet? No, we didn't, so we're going to have to do that. So, John. Yep. Your time, sir, was a one. Oh. Okay. Two. Is that 94? Yep. 102.94. Slower than so, the limo cart, but faster than the coffin cart. It's faster than the limo cart. No, oh, sir. Oh, God, you're right. Slower than the limo cart, but faster than the coffin cart. So... I put the gap in the wrong spot. My bad. It's fine. It's fine. We were both looking at it. John, we were very impressed with how fast you were, man. That thing was getting it, boy. Yeah. There's and, a whole lot more in it. Just didn't want to push it in the rain. Right there. It's moving. Congratulations, sir. Cool. Thank you. Glad you're still with us. <laughs> Me too. Thank you all for tuning into this episode. I think our Tillotson swapped. Transmission swap. Transmission swap Tillotson go kart is really fast, has a lot of potential. Visit our sponsor, gopowersports.com, if you want to check out the wheel tire combination we have, our engine setup, or the go kart chassis itself. Uh, 
Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode, and come back next time because we're going to be making a couple other changes. I think we need a clutch pedal so we can do some clutch dumps, take it for a proper full send. Ah! Uh-oh. Charlie's out here hunting. He's going to yell at me. We should do this another day. Oh, and my leg hit the kill switch.